Now, it's the uh, most powerful greenhouse gas known to humanity, one that can cause terrible damage to the atmosphere, yet most people will never have heard of it. It's called uh, sulfur hexafluoride. There it is, or SF6, which is a bit shorter. Uh, is widely used to prevent fires and accidents in electrical equipment, in power stations, wind turbines, in fact, right across the electricity grid. But when it leaks, it can have dire consequences for the environment, and it has been leaking. The levels of SF6 have risen uh, rapidly in the atmosphere in recent years. Across the EU alone, leaks have been equivalent to the emissions of 1.3 million extra vehicles on the road in just one year. Matt McGrath investigates what's behind the rise. We're about to witness the startling destructive power of electricity as technicians prepare a short circuit test at this laboratory. This is why industry relies so heavily on SF6. It prevents overloads that destroy installations. But the gas is also the most powerful climate warming substance known to science, 23,500 times more damaging than carbon dioxide. And levels in the atmosphere are increasing. It's leaking into the air faster than ever before. So this is a very potent greenhouse gas um, and it's very long lived. So what we put up in the atmosphere will essentially stay there for hundreds or thousands of years. So if we don't cut emissions, then we'll con just continue to add to that atmospheric burden. The main reason for the rise in the use of SF6 has been the change in the way we make electricity. In the past, we relied on a handful of large coal stations for our power, but these have been replaced by dozens of wind farms, requiring many more substations and connections to the grid. The electricity generated by wind farms is sent via underwater cables to substations on land. It travels along high voltage lines and the power is then converted so it can be used in homes and offices all over the UK. On every step of the journey, switches and fuses are used to prevent short circuits and fires. But around 80% of the ones in the UK depend on the powerful greenhouse gas, SF6. The EU will review the regulations on SF6 in 2020, but some energy companies are sensing that change is coming. This new wind farm being built off the coast of East Anglia is one of the first and largest in the world constructed without SF6. However, there are limitations. The turbines here are connected to this substation and that still relies on the gas. But at this factory in the Netherlands, they've been making electrical switch products without SF6 for decades. They are already for, for over 40 years in the field and they are reliable, they are safe and they are really working with no use of SF6. Changing from SF6, a reliable and cost-effective insulating material, won't be easy. The industry regulator Ofgem says it's setting targets for companies to move away from the gas. But a ban on the substance is thought unlikely before 2025. Matt McGrath, BBC News.